Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Ravi and today we are going to learn how to do GST billing in Tally. So before going ahead, let's first discuss a little about what is GST and how to deal with it in Tally. So as you all know that GST full form is Goods and Services Tax. GST is divided into two parts. First is known as intrastate sales and second is known as interstate sales. So what is intra means and what is inter means? First discuss about intra. So intrastate sales means sales within the same state and interstate sales means sales between two states. For better understanding, let's take an example. Here an example, suppose there is a person who is a dealer in Rajasthan Rajasthan and his name is A and there is another person who is a local in Rajasthan and his name is B did a dealer some goods sold some goods to B who is a local in Rajasthan so both this sales are occur is occurred in Rajasthan so this sales is known as intrastate sales because sales is happening in the same state because both are in Rajasthan at the time of selling goods. So this sales is known as intrastate sales. Why? If this local person would be from Punjab instead of Rajasthan. So at this time because the dealer belongs to Rajasthan and the another person to whom the goods is being sold he is belong to Punjab. So there there are two different states so, so this sales would be known as interstate sales so i hope you have understood that what is intrastate sales and what is interstate sales in in, uh, in other words you can simply say that intrastate sales means sales within the same state while interstate sales means sales between two states so let's discuss a little brief about both this topic so first let's delete this example Sales within the same state. We are going to learn in this video in detail about interstate sales. And in the next video, we will learn what is interstate sales. So here we are we our focus will be on intrastate sales, not on interstate sales. So in intrastate sales, GST is further divided into two parts. First is GST and another is SGST. CGST full form is Central Goods and Services Tax. So this GST part is belongs to government, central government. While LGST means state goods and services tax and as the name suggests, this tax belongs to the state government. So taking the same example A of A and B, suppose A who the dealer belongs to Rajasthan sells some goods to B who is a local person belongs to Rajasthan of worth 10,000 rupees and suppose for example GST rate is 18% so the tax amount on 10,000 is 1800 rupees as 18% of 10,000 now in G as I have told you before the GST is divided into CGST and SGST and the rate is equally divided between two parts in CGST and SGST in other words both the government, central and state, receive the equal part or share of the tax. So if the GST rate is 18%, so central government would receive 9% out of 18 and SGST state government will also receive 9% of 18%. For example, if this GST rate would be 20% instead of 18%, so the CGST would be 10%. And SGST is also would be 10%. So I hope you have you are clearly understand that the GST is divided into two equal parts. First is CGST and another is SGST. So CGST because the central government will receive 9% of 8, 1800. So 1809% is 900. This belongs to the central government. While 9% of 1800 is also 900, so this would be the part of state government. So, this is all about interstate sales. 
so intra seed sales so let's do it in tally so here our tally software is opened so first of all we will create in company so let's create the company here i am giving the name of reliance our company name is here reliance state is rajasthan and let's press enter to save the company so here our company is created now press go to f11 go to f11 so here company features is open now from here go to statutory and taxation option here you can see first option is gst enable goods and services tax we have to do it yes and the second option is set alter gst details we have to use it and press enter here the state is rajasthan registration type is regular here you can fill your gst and uin number and as we have learning it as an education purpose so let's press enter if we have the details you can fill it here of gst like number and press enter now save it now press escape to go to gateway of tally now here we will go to accounts info to create some ledgers so we will create some ledgers here first ledger here we are going to do gst billing in sales voucher so let's create a party account first so let's take an example our party name is a sorry let's take a b because we are going selling to the goods to b who is a sentry debtor for us because in sales voucher to whom we are selling is our sentry debtor let's press enter enter and b also belongs to rajasthan so keep it rajasthan here you you can see set all the gst details in party account name so you have to do it yes in sales voucher registration type would be our consumer not regular so here we will change it by consumer now we will create another ledger it's sales sales come under sales here you can see is gst applicable here is gst applicable now you can see second option is all set and alter gst details and it is no and keep it no don't do it yes keep it as no we don't do it yes here now type of supply we are selling goods so we'll select the goods and save it the third voucher is cgst as i have told you the gst is divided into two parts first is cgst so we will create an account with the name of cgst it comes under duties and taxes in type of duty and tax we will select gst tax type is central tax because cgst is central tax percentage of calculation as i have told you our total gst is 18% so cgst would be 9% not 18 and because cgst is 9 and sgst is 9 the total gst raise is 18 so here we will select percentage of calculation 9% rounding method is not applicable here save now create another account with sgst same duties and taxes we will select gst here type of duty tax type is our state tax sgst is a state tax percentage of calculation always keep in mind the percentage of calculation of cgst and sgst will be equal as we have put 
9% in CGST, so we'll also put 9% here. As our total GST raise is 18%, so CGST and LGST rate would be equal. Rounding might have not applicable and save it. Now press escape to go to get pay of tally. Now we will go to accounting watchers. Press F8 for sales watcher. Here we will select B part in party account name. You can press simply enter here. Sales ledger, we will select sales. Name of item. Let's create some item name for selling goods. Press Alt C for shortcut ledger creation. Here let's take we are uh, selling some Samsung mobile, let's say. Uh, it comes under Samsung. And Samsung would come under mobile. I hope you already know it how to create ledgers. That total GST details we will press yes here. Taxability in taxability we will put taxable item. Our integrated tax means total tax is 18%. And save yes. Also do it say the same yes here. Taxable and 18% sale. Units, we will create the units as number. GST applicable is yes applicable. Here set total GST details we will do yes. On value taxability is taxable is it is 18 percent goods and save it let's take a quantity of 20 and amount is 25,000 so let's create another ledger with the OPPO and it will come under OPPO mobile and yes it is taxable yes taxability is taxable integrated tax is 18% as it is total tax save it units is numbers GST applicable yes GST is applicable set total GST details yes taxable it is 18% integrated tax. Type of supply goods and save. Suppose the quantity is 10 and the price is 20,000. 20 rate rate and total is 2 lakh. Now here select CGST that you created. CGST and the tax rate would automatically come that is 63,000. Now after CGST, select SGST that you create and again the rate, tax rate would automatically come that is again 63,000 because CGST and SGST rate is equal. Now save these details by pressing enter. Now sales number 2 comes, voucher number 2 comes. Now we would go to sales number voucher number 1. So press page up, page up button and we will go to sales number 1. For GST bling, press ALT plus P. ALT and P. So GST, this voucher printing option would come. Press enter. Now this is our tax invoice. To zoom this tax invoice, press ALT plus Z. ALT and Z. So this is our tax invoice. Here our description of goods is Samsung Mobile and Oppo and tax amount is CGST and SGST is 9% and 9% 63,000 and 63,000 and total billing is 8,26,000. So this is our GST billing in tally tax invoice. So this is here for this video and in the next video we will learn how to do 
inter state sales means IGST. So don't so if you don't want to miss that video, please subscribe this video if you like. Thank you.